Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Just Get A Tesla. It's January and I live in Scotland so unsurprisingly we've actually had a load of snow come down. There's a good two centimetres or so of snow and if I stick my boot into the snow you can see it's decently deep. Now here's the thing, I have to go up a driveway to get on and off my property and there is a slope there, there's gravel under there but there's a good two centimetres, two and a half centimetres of standing snow. So I'm going to have a bit of fun because although I'm on standard summer OEM tyres, I do have some snow socks. So let's do a bit of a test. How well does the car go up the hill without the snow socks and then we'll stick them on and see if it's any better. So the first thing we're going to have to do is to get into the car. Now as you can see <laughs> There is quite a lot of snow, so let's have a go at brushing the worst of it off, at least so that I can <laughs> get to the door and the handles. Um, yes, I of course I do have a scraper and it's in the car. I really need to pull it out of the car when it says it's going to snow. Anyway, let's have a go. The latch is, but it's not frozen, so let's have a go. Yep, it does open up okay. And then we can step <laughs> into the car. <laughs> it's, it's very dark in here. It's a bit like being in a snow hotel where we've basically just gone and built <laughs> a whole car that's Tesla shaped out of ice, or in this case, snow. So I can't see out of any of the windows. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I've got to take my glove off to be able to press buttons on the screen because it's not going to do it otherwise. So I can't remember whether my scraper is in the boot or it's in the front. So what I'm going to do is open them both. <laughs> I'll try. That was the boot not actually opening and we'll try it again. Oh, it's done it this time. It's actually managed to break its way through. But yeah, the first time it did absolutely nothing. All right, let's see how much we can scrape off. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the phone app and I'm gonna switch climate on, which I've just done, because I can't juggle the phone and hold the camera at the same time. But what I've done is I've gone into the app, gone into climate and pressed on. What that's now doing is it set the heat on, I've got the seat heating and the steering wheel heating on, and that will start warming the car up on the inside while I scrape off the outside. I'm literally having to use my hand here to try <laughs> and find ha, 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 find the edge of the frunk so that we can get that open. <sighs> okay, let's go in the shed and find something we can do that with. I've got most of the snow now off the car, so let's get in and see what it's like trying to get up the drive in the snow. So we're inside the car now and we're ready to have a first attempt uh, up the driveway, so let's see what this is like, shall we? Well, it's moving. It's actually going up here reasonably well. <laughs> but it's slipping, it is slipping a bit at the top. So, we'll back it back down to the bottom and we'll stick the snow socks on. Oop, now we're sliding like crazy. Good. Okay, I can record again now that we're actually in a bit more of a stable position. So all I'm doing really is I'm trying to follow my tracks back down my driveway to make sure that I don't actually hit anything which I'm not going to do as I go through here right I think here will do fine so let's put it in park let's open the trunk and let's get the snow socks so what I bought are these husky snow socks. Now these are described as being really good on standing snow and easy to get on and off. 
I got most of the way up the drive and then the top bit was a bit on the slidey and not going anywhere side so let's see what these are like so the first thing I'm going to do is to open the pack and have a look at what we actually get so take the leaflet out of the way okay so we have got two as you'd expect two tire shaped things which we need to slide on this could be the fun bit because this has got to go over this so as i understand it what you're supposed to do is to slip part of it over the wheel and then come back and roll the car slightly forwards or backwards and then slip the other half So I've got both the snow socks on now. Hopefully this is going to do the job, but they do go on reasonably well and they cover all of the tire. And I've just had a feel around to make sure that it is covering all of it. So um, let's have another go, shall we? The point to note about snow socks is you only put them on the rear tires, not on the front. So. Even if you've got all wheel drivers we have with a Tesla Model Y long range, you only need to buy one pair to go on the back. Okay, let's give this a whirl then. So foot on the brake, down on the right hand stock to engage drive and um, let's see how we do. Well, it's already better than it was on the way up, but it was up at the top here where we got stuck last time. So let's see how we do and that has absolutely walked through there. <laughs> Good, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reverse. And spin it around. So again, I've got really good traction. Even as I'm reversing towards the gate, it stops. It pulls it forward again. This is genuinely much 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 better than it would have been if i was trying to do it without them and then i'm even going to go just down the side here which again is downhill and it's also going to be quite slippery so what i can do is i can stop i have got perfect traction as i'm going down here perfect i can stop as I want and then if you want to reverse to go back up again because I'm not planning to go out again it's just literally walking its way back up here this is actually really 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 easy really easy and you can see the amount of snow that we're on in fact I'm gonna go out and have a look it's back in park. I mean, <laughs> you can see just how deep this actually is where I've been carving my way through it. You know, this is good, proper snow, and the snow socks make it an absolute doddle. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back down the drive now because of the way that my house is laid out you need to reverse down the drive so that's what we're going to do so after a little bit of shunting we are ready to go back down through my gate again i've got really good control with the snow socks i can feel how much grip i've got i am going really absolutely slowly just walking pace but that's really all you want to do they make a great noise as well can you hear that it's that lovely crumping noise of fresh snow okay so now we need to make the turn before we run into the steps well, <laughs> that is the front wheels skidding because they're losing traction because we do not have 
anything on the front. So I'm going to let the front... What we're going to do then is we're going to pull it forward, take the lock off, and we will do that again. Again, we are now much straighter. I'm still taking it nice and steady, but I've at least got the wheels back into the ruts that we were in on the way back down. And that makes a real difference. And again, we can just walk the car down here now, and it's absolutely fine. That makes a real difference. So to take these off again, it's literally the reverse of what you did to put them on. Just reach your hand behind the wheel, pull them off, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the car backwards a little bit to take the other side off. And before anybody asks, the reason why I need them for the lane, but I wouldn't really need them for the road is, well, as you can see behind me, the road's clear. It's just the side access that's the problem. And that's why snow socks to get me on and off is probably a sensible solution. And just as we finish the test, it starts to snow again, which is kind of appropriate. So what do I make of these? So <laughs> when they're not blowing away, these are, as I said at the beginning, Husky premium winter style textile snow socks. I will put a link on Amazon to where I got them from. They were only 50 quid. Honestly, I do think these are great value for money. They are emergency use only. They're not there to drive along on snow covered roads for long spells, but if you need to be able to get around, something like this shoved in your trunk is definitely something to have and by the way i bought these with cash i wasn't given these this isn't a sponsored video this is me reviewing products that i actually need and all i need to do now is dry these out although they're not particularly wet but i'll stick them uh, in the um, shed dry them out for a day and then put them back in the pack so that is that for this video don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell icon all that usual yada 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 and i'll see you very soon on the next one